This'll do. This'll do. We have arrived, my friends. Time to indulge a little bit and relax. We deserve it. Grab a beverage yourself. So I have not been the first person to be here, that's for sure. There's some activity. See a lot of tire tracks, four-wheel drive tire tracks. I've been here before too. But it's gonna be nice. I can't dawdle too much because it's gonna to rain today. So I gotta get my tarp up. I brought two tarps, three tarps actually. I brought my 10 by 10 Aqua Quest. I brought a 15 by 15 Aqua Quest. And a 10 by seven Aqua Quest. So, I'm trying to figure out where to put them. I think I'll put 10 by 10 over here under the truck. And I might just set up camp here. It's a big area. There's a fire pit over there in the trees, which I don't think I'm going to use. I'll do all my cooking and everything over here, sleeping in the back of the truck, of course. Solo, no river. Yeah, that wind is coming in. We might get a storm. You guys might be able to hear it. And today is the solar eclipse. So we have that to look forward to later on today. We may not see a whole lot of it with the cloud cover, but it's going to be spooky anyway. It's going to get dark for a while. It's going to be very weird. I was hoping it was going to be nice and sunny, but uh, it doesn't appear so. Be the last total solar eclipse in my lifetime, I guess. I'm going to finish this up. String up a tarp or two, settle in for the night. Got something good to eat, just massive good to eat. So I'm looking forward to that. I've been a good boy lately, watching my food intake, what I'm eating tonight. We're going for it. I haven't really found a better way to attach a tarp than Prusik knots and toggles. I really like these poles. They're called Green Elephant. I got them on Amazon. I've had them for about a year now and I really like them. They're really strong, very adjustable. They come in a couple different sizes. I think these ones go all the way up to nine feet, but there is a shorter set. I wouldn't get the shorter ones because they only go so high. These will go down very low. But uh, they're excellent. And I bought two. I might get another two just to have a set of four. I really dig these. Green Elephant on Amazon. Just do a search. You'll find it. No problem.
So I bought a new toy from Amazon a while ago and I haven't used it yet. It's from a company called Camping Moon. And these portable fire pits, I'm pretty intrigued by them. I mean, they're great. They're portable, of course, but when you get, come to places like this, you don't know if there's going to be a fire pit in a safe spot. You don't know how much garbage is going to be in it. You don't know what the ground conditions are going to be. There's, they're a little wet today, but you know, I didn't really need to use this pit, but I want to try it out because it looks like it's going to be pretty nice to use. A few pieces to it. It's not the lightest, but if you're in your truck, it doesn't really matter. So you have this base plate so the ground doesn't get damaged. This just opens up like so. Just like that. It locks into place. You use these locks here to secure the fire pit to the base. It has these two handles. You can literally pick this thing up and move it wherever you want. Comes with an ash grate. Goes in the bottom. So it has this adjustable grill, which fits right here like this. You can put it down low, medium, or high for cooking your food. There we go, just like, just like that. Yeah, and then your grill fits in here. You can cook your food on top. It wasn't really that expensive. I like that that's removable. But I'm going to use it and let you know my thoughts on it by the end of the trip. Yes or no. Thumbs up or thumbs down. I don't know, I kind of like it. I mean, you could bring just the fire pit with you, I guess, if you didn't want to bring the grill. Once you get used to using this grill, it goes on easier. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to cook my food on it tonight. So that's it, camp set. Just have to wait for the show. Brought my glasses. I'm all ready. Although, I don't think I'm gonna need them. It's so cloudy, so overcast. It's just a thick blanket of clouds everywhere. I can't even truly see where the sun is, so. I don't need these right now, but you know what? It's getting dark. It's getting darker, so something's going on. Something's going on. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. <laughs> Ok, 
Can you believe as soon as the eclipse was over, the clouds opened up, blue skies, full view of the sun. Just my luck. This bushcraft moment was brought to you by the fine folks at LT Wright and their GNS knife. Nice to get that fire lit. Still working on that original beer. I've been busy waiting for that eclipse. That never happened. What a bummer. So I like these portable fire pits because I can park wherever I want, bring the fire to me, it is supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow morning, so I can pull this right under the tarp if I need to. I've had many, many, many fires underneath this tarp. The key is to keep the fire small. But uh, I do like them. I do like them. And when you have a truck, you can bring one. So I'm looking forward to cooking some juicy burgers on that grill later. I haven't had a burger in a while. We'll see how the grill works. Go time. Let's get that burger on there. Woo! And some bacon. We're having bacon on these babies. I made that bacon at home. It's gonna be good. Oh, I'm looking forward to this burger. You have no idea. I've been pretty good. I've been watching what I eat, exercising a little bit more for the last three weeks. I haven't had a cheat day at all and I'm well into the double digit weight loss so this is my cheat day. Two bacon cheeseburgers. Or I may just make one double bacon cheeseburger, save the carbs and the extra bun. But they're two six ounce burgers. I measured them myself. They're homemade, so I measured them out myself. Oh, it's gonna be good. Got some smoked cheddar. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I think we can get this bacon off. Looks perfect. Perfect. What's a bacon burger without cheese? I have some of this gorgeous smoked cheddar. Oh, it's so good. It's going to go great with this. That'll do. I'm going for two. I'm going for two, people. Let's build a burger. 
hamburger sauce. Slice of onion. A couple slices of tomato. Oh, oh my. Oh my goodness. Look at these babies. I've outdone myself this time. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the best thing I've cooked out here ever. And I haven't even eaten it yet. Woo! Homemade burgers. Home cured bacon, smoked cheddar, man, forget about that solar eclipse. These bad boys could block out the sun. Oh, let's get into it. All right, burger number one. This kind of feels wrong, you know what I'm saying? My beard is going to be a mess. That is absolutely incredible. When you're buying ground beef for burgers, just get regular ground beef. Don't mess around with that extra lean stuff for the lean. Unless you have a medical reason not to, but. If you want a juicy burger, go for the regular ground beef, or 80-20 as they call it. Mm. I brought a Dutch oven, I brought some oil and some potatoes, I thought Maybe I'll make some french fries. Nope. I'll be doing well if I can finish these two burgers. What's your favorite thing to eat when you're camping? Steak? Burgers? The old hot dog? They're all good. They're all classics. Right now, this burger with the bacon and cheese Ticking off all the boxes. Dinner's done. Washing up is done. Just sipping on some water here. Help digest that meal. Oh, I struggled, but I did it. Woo! They were good burgers, my friends. They were good burgers. I thought I might move over to the bigger fire pit about 50 feet over that way, but I think I'm going to stick here with this little one because I want to see how it goes if I burn it all night. It's been going for about three hours now three and a half hours and there's hardly any ash in the bottom so that means it's getting decent airflow pretty impressed with this thing and cooking on it worked out really well it's too bad about that eclipse all the cloud cover it was weird about three o'clock or so it got a little bit dark and it got cold and then it stayed like that for a while then about 4 15 the cloud cover went away sun came out and of course the 
Eclipse was finished with. So I missed it. I'll have to watch it on YouTube or the news. How about you? Were you able to see it where you are? I'm sure it wasn't cloud cover over the entire Earth. So if you saw the solar eclipse, let me know how epic it was. Or was it ho-hum? Oh well, another eclipse. Be another one in 40 years. I'll give a little update on River as she's not here. I would have loved to have shared that burger with her, but we're going to give her one more week of home rest before we take her out to the woods. I think it's best for her. Just one more week. I wouldn't want to just tie her up. Keep her tied up. I think she's better off at home. But she did hear the word camping when my wife and I were talking. She heard the word camping and her eyes lit up, ears went up. She got pretty excited. Not today, my friend. I got scolded by somebody in the comments uh, after River got hurt. Basically saying it was my fault. I shouldn't let my dog run free in the woods. Even though she is under control, she comes back when she's called that uh, if I didn't let her run, she wouldn't have got hurt. He never lets his dogs run free. He keeps them chained up all the time to a tree. And that's fine. You know, perhaps he doesn't have a good recall on his dogs. But I worked hard to train River and get a good recall. She comes back when she's called. She has a blast out here. She just never stops. She has so much fun at the end of the day she's exhausted she just wants to lay in her bed and she just loves going camping so unfortunately stuff like that is going to happen once in a while I'll get hurt out here children get hurt your dog is going to get hurt occasionally but I think the trade-off of having freedom is worth it you can't bubble wrap the woods so she'll continue to run free. Thank you to anyone who bought us a coffee. It's so much appreciated. Your kindness and generosity is appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope you get the messages that I send back to you. If not, I'll just take this opportunity to say thank you. River is going to have some massive treats her first time when she comes out. Big bones. I buy her usually chicken necks and she likes chicken feet, but I'm going to get her a nice big raw meaty bone to chew on when she comes out here. She'll go absolutely mental. <laughs> Thank you so much. I've decided a hot chocolate is a good idea. Why not? That's the move right there. One, maybe two. Get those puppies in there. Best hot chocolate you've ever had. Oh, that is a delicious rich and creamy cup of hot chocolate. Mmm. 
couple little chocolates in there. Thickens everything up. Delicious. It is getting chilly. Very chilly. Had to get my wool toque on. We call them toques up here. What do you guys call them down in the States? I've heard sometimes you even call them toboggans. Is that right? Is that a thing? Toboggans? Watch cap. Yeah, we call them toques. Beanie. But toboggans? I don't get that one. Toboggan is something you pull in the snow. Enlighten me. Well, I think I'll head to bed pretty soon. It's about 10 o'clock. Read a book. Best way to nod off is to read a book. I don't have a good signal out here, so there's no watching YouTube or Netflix, that's for sure. Which is fine by me. That bed is looking pretty comfy. Well, good morning, my friends. That was a nice sleep. Solid eight hours. What a glorious morning. I hate disturbing the peace and quiet with me yapping. Not a soul around. Come summertime, this place gets fairly busy because of the easy access with the logging roads. So I don't bother coming to this area. But for right now, it's beautiful, and especially during the week. Peace and quiet. I have bacon, eggs, home fries, beans, mushrooms, tomatoes, or oatmeal. I'll have to think about that one. That's almost a full English, isn't it? It would have to be uh, sausage and black pudding. That give me a full English. Bacon, sausage, black pudding, beans, potatoes.
potato, eggs, tomatoes, mushrooms, and tea. I'll pass on the tea, I'll pass on the black pudding. Thank you very much. No offense. <laughs> Full breakfast it is. You guys are a bad influence. Coffee is ready. That bacon is ticking along just beautifully. This thing is great to cook on. Check it out. Throw it in your RV, throw it in your truck. Handy to have. Grilling a couple of tomatoes, got some beans going on. These mushrooms are going to be amazing. It's going to be a beautiful breakfast. And that, my friends, is about as close to a full English breakfast as I'll ever get. Always have to have that second pot of coffee. This home cured bacon is fire. Man, that's good. A little sunny side up egg action. This will keep me going all day. Well, that was amazing. So I must say I've really enjoyed this trip. It's been extremely relaxing. The weather's been amazing. Not a cloud in the sky. Lots of cloud yesterday, of course in honor of the eclipse, but I think I'll just start packing up, clean up this fire, get rid of the coals. That thing has been great. So I'll say thank you very much for watching the video, especially watching right to the end. Now that's amazing. If you watch right to the end, give me a thumbs up, and especially if you leave a comment, that's the most important thing you can do for the channel. Helps out a lot. So we'll see you on the next video very soon. I should have my sidekick with me next time. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.